Camel Nation, it's Nina D, and I'm hanging out with John Langston. Hello, sir. Hello. So if people don't know you right now, I feel like all of a sudden, who is this guy, John Langston, kind of popped up when um, Luke Bryan was starting to talk about you, and then all your music started to come out, and we're like, oh, this guy's legit. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. No, it's really cool to be able to work with a guy like Luke and, uh, you know, to have someone, you know, he's he's a biggest superstar in the world yeah and he's you know kind of taking me under his wing and you know showing me the ropes out here you know this is you know you know being out on tour with him and seeing how seeing how the big dogs play it's just like crazy yeah just a very nerve-wracking because you know he's like don't mess it up (laughs) does he really say that you know he's messing with me but you know he's just but it's a lot of it is it is a lot of pressure he's messing but don't don't mess it it up you know like because i mean you know, he puts a lot of faith into me and my guys and my crew and like, you know, and, and, and we're supposed to, you know, start off his, his show, you know, mm-hmm. his, his tour. And we're, we're the first ones out there to, you know, entertain his fans yeah. and get them going. And, and that's our job. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really cool to get out in front of that many fans every single night. It's yeah. Pretty incredible. It's a dream, man. Well, s- speaking of dreams, did you know? Oh, you shared a video of him telling you you got a record deal. Did you really not know it was happening when he walked no, in? No, I mean, I, I had a. So, we had the label come down to see a show down in Georgia the mm-hmm. week before, but I didn't hear nothing for a week. So I thought I screwed it up. I thought we, you know, they no calls, asked, no texts. Yeah, like, no oh. calls, no texts. I asked my manager. I was like, "Hey, have you heard anything?" <laughs> Every day I'm like, "Hey, do you hear anything?" She's like, "Not yet." So I'm thinking like, "Well, it's." That was that. That's over. Yeah. Oh well. You know. But, uh, <laughs> but he, I was just writing, and uh, he busted the door with a bottle of champagne. And I'm just like, no way. Yeah. And then he tells me, and I'm just like, just going. Nuts. It seemed it seemed awesome and a genuine moment, but I'm like, Luke Bryan's at your house. Is yeah. that normal? Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he's walking through the door to tell you yeah. the greatest news you ever got. Yeah. So. That was a special day. I love that. I love that. Okay, so we got to talk about your new single. Yeah. It's called Now You Know. Now You Know. Okay, playing it on camel. Keep calling for it if you want to keep hearing it. So this is probably the first, like, you know, since your record deal, right, with Luke, yeah. like your first yeah, single out. Like, so this is your baby. This is my baby. This is, uh, you know, we, we like, you know, I, I love songs that just hit you in, hit you in the face right off the mm-hmm. bat. And, uh. You know, I like to have a good time, and I think this song really kind of, you know, tells a little bit about me in a fun way, not so so much the the serious dark places mm-hmm. or whatever. It's the it's the fun side, and it, it's the and it's got this cool summer feel, and it's a it's a song to op- crack open a beer to. So uh, we're excited. Okay. For people to hear it. Yeah. Good. Okay. So now you know um, to open a beer when you hear the song yeah, exactly. like immediately not in the car if you're listening in the car but also like when you hear that <laughs> when you hear those slide guitars going, okay open the cold beer up okay so since it's called now you know let's play a little game if you're down i'm down okay you just got to tell me if this is true or false okay. all right so we're going to educate people watching this okay. um shaquille o'neal only made one three-pointer in his career false. that's true that's true. That's true. Back in 1996, I was shocked too. But now you, you know. know. Yes, one. So now you know. Boom. Killing there you go. Awesome. Okay. Um, outer. Sp- I know. I'm just. I had to go. I had to back this up too. Like you, we can fact check. This is not fake news. This is real. Uh, okay. So right. Space smells like seared steak. Space. Like yeah. Like a- account according to uh, astronauts. Smells like what? Seared steak. Like <laughs> the internet. Sure, true. True. Now you know. Now you know. That's true. Okay, okay. I know. Right. Um, and last thing I is. Ever get to experience that. <laughs> Me neither. That'd be awesome, though. I know. So they're always hungry up there, huh? You got to make friends with Brad Paisley because he hangs out with astronauts all the time. No way. Yeah, like Mark Kelly. Who? Yeah. Anyway. Awesome. Um, most people break up on Mondays. True or false? <laughs> true or Sunday the end of the weekend yeah for making bad decisions over the weekend and getting broken up with let them know now you know yeah that's true i feel like that's a country song something about breaking up on a monday or something Thank you. we'll cut it we'll cut it here and then i'll get the credit let me go write this real quick <laughs> hey, <Cole. No. laughs> you know uh, John Langston, you heard it here first. If they do come out with the song, and either Cole or he sings oh, it, I hate there, there it is, there it is. Uh, 
But speaking of Cole Swindell, he actually, uh, when I talked to him the other day, we, he talked about you, and he said he's so excited for you because you're in kind of like the position, not at the merch table necessarily, but in the position he was in with Luke like six years ago. Yeah, it's really cool to be able to, you know, because when he was at the position, I was in college looking up to him as like, you know, I've always looked up to Cole as like a big brother mm-hmm. figure, and he, he's always, you know, helped me out and given me advice and stuff, and, you know, me and him met from me putting up a YouTube cover of a song that he wrote that Luke put out and he would he hit me up on Twitter and that's how we met and he was playing in Charlotte, North Carolina that that weekend he left me a you know, a ticket at the door and I went to the show, saw the show, got to meet him, hang out, we've been buds ever since. So it's pretty cool how we met and now yeah. it's like full circle now. And uh yeah, it's pretty awesome. But um but yeah, it's cool to be in his like because back then you know he was going on tour with luke and like doing and I, I remember seeing those shows mm-hmm. and, and seeing you know seeing how his growth and you know how he how what he was doing to you know make those steps to get to the next level yeah and, and now i i get the opportunity now to be there and it's i'm just really thankful to be doing that and it's cool to have a guy like that you know on my team you know on my side and, yeah you know, have my back and like kind of you know, he's been there before, so mm-hmm. he, if I ever need, you know, someone to talk to about stuff, he's there. And it's is, cool. is he pretty honest if he is, if you, like, have a song idea or, or is he, like, nah, he, you know, like, constructive criticism? He's one of the best songwriters ever. Yeah, know? that's what's I mean, a lot of pressure, right? Uh, like, I mean, he can come up with something like that, and he loves writing, and I, we love throwing ideas back and forth at each other. You know, we're going to write a few songs, definitely, this, this tour, this summer, so. I love it. Yeah, he, like, he's. Like he'll come up with stuff like right off the bat. Like he'll have a whole chorus in his head in like ten seconds, and you're like, "How do you do that?" Yeah. So, yeah, he's awesome. He's the best. Okay, well, he loves you. Uh, I love him. People are gonna fall in love with you here in the valley. I could talk to you all day. I feel like we're gonna run yeah, out of time. So, we are yeah. because you know what? This is what happened with Cole Swindell too. Like I said, six years ago, it was it was the first time I interviewed him. He's gonna kill me now. He was wearing sweatpants because it was like backstage at a concert, and he was new and. He was like, "Wait, this is gonna be recorded." I thought it was just gonna be an, a radio thing, and but he was he was nervous, and now he's like the pro of pros. So yes, he is a pro of pros. Yeah, so. we were doing liners one day, and I'm over there just taking notes, doing all his, because I'm like, he does it perfect every time, yeah. and that takes me like ten hours to do ten a page. That's okay. Like Some that. sometimes the big dogs mess up too. <laughs> sometimes it's it's all right. It's all right. We um. All we did have uh, um, an opportunity for our fans to ask a couple questions. And one that came up a lot was really cool because I feel like they follow you because they had to have seen this on your social media. But you gave your dad, you bought your dad a brand new truck, like a like a big dog truck. Big dog, brand new, you know, Ford 670. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty, I was just blessed to be able to do that. I've been, been wanting to do that for years, you know, and, you know, I finally got to this place in my career where I, you know, saved enough where I can do so that for awesome. him. And, yeah. and it's just, you know, because he, he did so much for me growing up. I mean, he's done, you know, for a whole year in 2016, he he drove me and my my band a, a, all across the country in a family friend's RV, and he didn't ask <laughs> me for nothing. He was just happy to help. Yeah. And I just wanted to, you know, and ever since I was little, you know, he was always my coach or, like, taking me to football, baseball practice or whatnot, and he's just always, he's been the greatest dad and, and, and my biggest hero and you know he's had the same truck since 2001 yeah he bought you know and when i when i got the truck home to my parents house my mom called me and she was like you you picked the perfect day to give him the truck because on the way on his way home the bumper fell off like the whole back bumper just fell off just driving home so i mean it had a different door on it the, <laughs> the, the seats were just shredded like it's it like was time. He, like yeah. It was time, like he, it was time for you to get famous <laughs> and make some money for dad. <laughs> well, I, if anyone deserved it, it was him. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just blessed to be able yeah. to do that for him and seeing his face and him being so happy about it. Yeah. It's pretty, I'll never forget. Well, fans, that. obviously, they were, they were feeling that, too, because they were like, I kept on looking at the questions, and they were like, ask him about the truck. Ask him about how he felt, and was his dad really surprised? And it looked like yeah, it from Yeah, my dad thought I was like, that's a little. I yeah. saw he was like turn the camera off. It. <laughs> no, it's for real. It's for real. Okay, so John Langston, um, we are excited to see more music from you. Keep writing songs. Um, 
come visit maybe when it's not so hot oh, I'm down again to come back whenever. you know we ha- we do these shows i'm just putting it out in the universe uh, maybe like an eight man jam or a christmas show we're gonna put it out there we'll get you here I'll somehow all right john langston thank you so much now you know is the single now you know <laughs> Thank you.